Hello, welcome to this lesson. In this video, we are going to solve this question I have on the screen. The question says the jet aircraft has a total mass of 22 megagrams and a center of mass at G. Initially, at takeoff, the engines provide a thrust of 2T equals 4 kN and T prime equals 1.5 kN. Determine the acceleration of the plane and the normal reactions on the nose wheel at each of the ring fields located at B. Assume the normal reactions at B to be equal. Neglect the mass of the fields and due to low velocity, neglect any lift caused by the rings. So that's the question. So let's look at how we are going to solve this question. So the first thing you have to do is to determine the acceleration of the plane. Okay, you have to determine the acceleration of the plane. So let's look at how you are going to do this. So when you consider the motion of the plane before it takes off, it will, it will move in a horizontal direction. Okay, it will move in a horizontal direction. So to find the acceleration of the plane, we are going to consider that the sum of the forces, the sum of forces in the x direction should be equal to the mass times the acceleration of the plane in the x direction. Okay, so when we do this, we are going to write down the values that we know and then we solve for the unknown, which is the acceleration in the x direction. So let's go ahead. So from the question, we know t prime to be equal to 1.5 kilonewton. Okay, which is equal to 1500 Newton. You can get that by multiplying by 10 to the power 3. And then we have 2t to be equal to 4 kilo Newton, which is same as 4000 Newton. Okay, so we have 2t here because the question is trying to say that when you consider the engines of the plane okay we have two engines on the on the back wing and then we have one at the tail of the plane so the two engines on the rings okay have the same thrust which is t so since they are two we are going to have two t that's why you have two t to be equal to four thousand newton and the mass of the plane is given to be 22 mega grams so this will be equal to 22 times 10 to the power 6 grams but we want to change this to kilograms so we will have 22 times 10 to the power 6 and since we want to change to kilogram we will multiply by 10 to the power minus 3 and we are still having grams here so we are going to write this as 22 times 10 to the power 3 kilogram okay so this is what we have now so from here let's go ahead and solve for the acceleration so considering the sum of the forces in the x we are going to have 2t let me write this sum of forces in the x we are going to have 2t plus t prime okay to be equal to the mass which is 22,000 22,000 times acceleration in the x direction so let's do the substitution you are going to have 4,000 plus 1,500 equals 22,000 multiplying acceleration in the x direction so let's simplify this and solve for the acceleration so you're going to have on the left side 4000 plus 1500 which will give us a value of 5500 and this should be equal to 22000 multiplying acceleration in the x direction so you will divide both sides by the 22000 
so let's simplify this and see so then i'm going to get the acceleration in the x direction to be 55 divided by 220 and that gives us the acceleration to be 0 0.25 meters per second squared so that will be the acceleration of the aircraft before it takes off so now let's look at the second part of the question which is that we should uh, find the normal reactions at the nose field in each of the ring hoods located at point B. So let's look at how you are going to do this. So we are going to have a reaction at point A here and then we are going to have another reaction at point B. And then we told that we should consider the reactions on the two hoods on the rings to be equal. Okay, so let's take note of that. So what I'll do is that you consider the reaction at A the reaction at A to be equal to NA and then the reaction at B to be equal to NB. Okay, so now our main goal is to find these two reactions right okay so let's go ahead don't forget that the two reactions are at B are the same okay so we are going to consider this to be 2 NB so let me write this since the reactions at B are the same you have 2 NB okay all right so now let's focus on finding the reaction forces so when you look at the reaction forces, you can see that they are going to act upwards. Okay, you consider the direction of the reaction forces to be in the in the upward direction. Okay, so for this reason, you are going to see that the sum of the forces in the y direction should be equal to the mass times the acceleration of the plane in the y direction and you know that for acceleration in the y direction that would be the same as acceleration due to gravity which would be 9.81 meters per second squared okay so now let's consider the forces in the y direction and that would be the reaction at a which would be n a and then the reaction at B, which will be 2 NB, and then that should be equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. So we don't know NA and NB, so let's write our equation. So I'm going to have NA plus 2 NB to be equal to the mass, which will be 22,000 times the acceleration, which will be 9.81 meters per second squared. So let's rewrite this. I'm going to have Na plus 2NB to be equal to 22,000 times 9.81 which will give us a value of 215,820. So this is one equation. Okay, so let me do this here. So now we will need another equation in order to solve for Na and Nb. Okay, so to get another equation, we are going to take moment about the center of mass. So you have the, the sum of moment about the center of mass g to be equal to zero. Okay, so let's look at what you are going to get. So when consider the force t prime. Looking at where it is, it will cause a negative moment. So I'm going to have minus t prime multiplying its perpendicular distance, which will be 2.5 minus 1.2. Okay, so I did this because when you draw a straight line through t prime, okay, t prime here, and then we draw 
a line from that blue line to the center of mass you see that that small distance will be t prime square perpendicular distance and then that will be the 2.5 minus the 1.2 so i'm going to do the same for 2t also so i'll draw a straight line through this and then i'll measure its perpendicular distance which will be this small distance here to the line that passes to the center of mass and then that will also be 2.3 minus 1.2 so let's continue so we are going to have minus 2t since it also cause a clockwise moment so multiplying 2.3 minus 2.3 minus 1.2 now let's look at the reaction at point b so for that one also we are going to have minus 2 and b multiplying its perpendicular distance which is 3 and then the reaction at a we are going to have plus n a multiplying 6 which is its perpendicular distance this should be equal to 0 okay so we are going to simplify this when you simplify this you are going to get n a minus n b to be equal to 1058.33 okay this is what you are supposed to to get so now this becomes the the second equation okay this becomes the second equation so now let's consider these two two equations and then solve for the unknown so to do this i'll make n a the subject from the second equation so we have n a to be equal to 1058.33 plus nb so you can substitute this into the first equation and you are going to have 1058.33 plus nb nb be equal to 215820 Okay, it's supposed to be two here. Let me write this. So you're going to have one zero five eight point three three plus N B plus two N B to be equal to two one five eight two zero. Okay, so now let's simplify this. So you're going to have three N B. Okay, this to be equal to 215820 minus 1058 point three three. So now you're going to divide this side by three. Okay. And then this side also by three. So now let's find the value of N B. Okay, so we are going to have two one five eight two zero minus 1058.33 divided by 3. Okay, so that will give us NB to be equal to 718. Let me write it here. 71, sorry, 71587.22 Newton. That will be NB. Okay, let me write this here. NB equals 71. Five eight seven point two two newton. Okay, so since we know N B, we can solve for N A. Okay, so let's go ahead and then look at that. So from the equation two, let me fill up some space. Okay, so from the equation two, okay, we can have N A minus N B N B to be equal to one zero five eight point three three. Now if we make N A the subject like we did earlier, that means to have one zero five eight point three three plus N B, which is seven one five eight seven. Point 
two two. So let's do this and see what we get for N A. 1058.33 that gives us NA to be 72,645.6 Newton. So, this is what we have. If you want to change these values into kilo all you have to all you have to do is to multiply by 10 to the power minus 3, and you get your answers in kilo.